Hello, good morning, everybody. Uh, we are ready to start uh, in a few minutes the informal ministerial uh, meeting uh, here in Riga under the Latvian presidency that I would like to thank for the excellent and very efficient uh, and politically uh, wise cooperation. Uh, today we will discuss with the ministers, uh, first of all, Libya, and I think this is a very symbolic and important sign that here uh, in the far east and north of Europe uh, we start our discussion uh, from uh, uh, one issue that is not only of concern of the southern member states but of all European Union because it is a common uh, threat we are facing, it's a common priority to uh, try to stabilize the country. Uh, we will have a, a, a direct link uh, with Rabat uh, in Morocco where Bernardino Leon, uh, uh, with whom I just spoke, uh, is uh, uh, leading the internal dialogue among the different parties. Uh, and uh, we will discuss with the ministers all the possible steps that the European Union can do in very concrete terms to support any form of, of, of outcome of this dialogue that might come uh, in the coming days, in very concrete terms. Uh, then we will discuss, obviously, the situation in Ukraine. Um, I will uh, uh, report from my telephone call from President Poroshenko yesterday uh, evening. Uh, we will have with us the Secretary General of the OSCE, uh, that, as you know, has the main role when it comes to monitoring uh, the ceasefire and the withdrawal of weapons. We will discuss uh, with him um, what the OSC needs more uh, to strengthen its role, to um, make it more effective. Uh, and we will obviously also discuss about the European Union way of supporting not only the OSC, but uh, the entire implementation of the Minsk Agreement, starting from the trilateral talks uh, that the European uh, Union uh, have, uh, together with Ukrainians and the Russians, uh, both on energy and gas and on trade. Um, we will uh, um, continue uh, our uh, works on the preparation on the Riga summit uh, of the Easter partnership that is going to be